Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our ongoing video user guide for APT where today we're going to be looking at CCD Flats Aid. Uh, this is something you use to create a flats plan for your um, CCD camera and depending on what filter you're using. Uh, this was recorded in a live session. Um, I use a flat panel in this one but the principles are the same whether you use a flat panel or just a uh, unsupported screen. So let's get into it. So here we are with CCD Flats Aid open and uh, my extra devices is open next to it so I can connect up my f uh, flat panel. So I need to just choose its COM port which is COM5 and it's connected now. So in your CCD Flats Aid you have ring thingy at the top here of course. Then you have to select the target ADU and this will depend upon your camera you're using. Uh, you might have to do a bit of hunting around to find out what you need but it's generally about half the maximum ADU of your camera. So mine about 32, 32,500 is good. Uh, and then you've got a percentage range that can be either side of that uh, and being considered correct. So I set it at 5% which is the default. Your start exposure, whatever exposure you want. Um, I'm aiming for about two to five seconds for each exposure at the max uh, and a minimum exposure I set at one. Uh, and the maximum at 10 seconds. Uh, I don't won't expect to be going on like that. The gain, I set this at zero just to get, so I can get slightly longer ones on the uh, things like the lum luminance filter. Um, but uh, that's up to you. It doesn't really matter what the gain is because you're just trying to get a, an overall um, flat image uh, with light over the whole image. So it doesn't really matter. The binning should be the same as your uh, lights. Uh, if you're using a region of interest, you need to turn that on. Um, if you have a filter wheel, you can either select to use all of them. So you'd put one to, in my case, I'd have to go one to eight or one to four or whatever but uh, as I've just used a HA filter tonight which is in position two I'm only going to use position two and then you can tell it to uh, create a flat plan for you uh, you need to decide how many flats you want uh, I normally go for 30 and the pause in it and at the end of it it will create a flat plan for you if you already have one there that's named as a uh, flat plan created by CCD Flats Aid, it will ask whether you want to overwrite it or not or create a new plan. So that's it for that. Uh, all I need to do now is hit the run button and it will go through, uh, it'll make sure that it's getting, it'll take an image. Oh. You might want to turn off the uh, uh, stretching of that okay so it's too bright two seconds four seconds still too bright I wonder why it went that long hmm it's weird three seconds okay so three second exposure with my HA will get me a nice as you can see it's right in the center of my uh, histogram here and that's about where you want it so that's it and now it's created me a, f a flat plan so what I can do now is I'll zoom out of this uh, if I remember how to do that <laughs> I'm sorry folks I am extremely tired I'm I've gotten out of practice staying out of bed um, so I'm not too awake there so all I do now is I go to the cam tab and here's the plan it's created. Uh, three seconds exposures, two by two, uh, gain of zero, pause one, count 30 with the H filter. Now when I create a dark flat plan, I'll have to change this to four seconds. So that's to match with the plus 500 uh, delay two, times two. So I'm gonna run this now and do my flats. And that's it. So this will take a few minutes. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to show you in there. If there's any questions, just ask away in the comments. And I just wish everyone clear skies. Uh, I hope I see more in the next couple of weeks. Still not looking good, but the tonight was a surprise, so I was happy with that. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you later.